Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Yakuza 0. So today we're finally continuing the main story for at least one episode. <laughs> so let's go. We're here in Serena. Yes, we're gonna get cutscenes. Oh! Wait, here you see. <laughs> あれお客さん初めてあ、お好きな席にどうぞいや、俺待ち合わせで緊張してんじゃねえよ錦よなんでお前がここに行きつけの店の一軒や二軒俺にだってあるさこの店は今俺の一番の大きいになレナ あら、錦山君の知り合いレイナもしかして、キリュウさんあ、ああ、そうだかうわ、やっと会えた一度お会いしてみたかったのよ錦山君、ヨウとあなたの話しかしないからねおい、余計なこと言うなない、とりあえず
いいね歌う歌うバカそれじゃ酒飲んでんのと変わんねえだろうつうかカラオケならこの前もじゃあお前は聞いてるだけでいい俺が勝手に歌うからそれならいいだろう仕事上がりの時くらい固いこと一個なしよ歌ってる間に小田さんもきっと来るわしょうがねえなよしそうと決まれば全話急げだミュージックスタート Oh, are we gonna do karaoke? Hopefully. Oh, it's actually. Okay. Judgment. Nishiki. Go, go, go! N I S I K I Nishiki! <laughs> This is always great. Every time we do this, very nice. 95, 97, yes. How are you? You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. しょうがねえから乗ってやっただけだたく素直じゃねえな本当はおめえも歌いたいんじゃねえのかそんなわけないだろうたくそれにしても小田ってやつ本当に遅いなおめえの話を聞く限りそんなルーズなやつとも思えねえけどな本当ね事故にでもあったんじゃないかしらあ、oh, Oda finally coming。お、oh, bloody、what。いらっしゃ。was it actually Oda。or is Oda。Oda。who is this。did we've been doing a lot of sub stories。I don't know what the story is anymore。I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's this guy. Riki Takeuchi. Ayano. Awano. 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 お前ら戦友やのお前らが俺をやったのかその前にお前はうちの死の気邪魔したんだろ立花不動産って言えこそこそ登場会に立てついてる連中で組抜けで早々 
ここは俺がこいつ知ってるかうちの岡部ってもんだ例の戦友屋のしのぎはこいつの仕切りでなかわいそうにおめえのせいでけじめつけちまったおめえ今度は何やらかした下っ端が口を挟むんじゃねえぞおれおっ錦いいね俺がこちらの片木さんと話してんだろうが錦やめよガキがシャシャル出てくんな錦山は関係ねえこいつとはたまたま居合わせただけです<笑>ああでなくても次はてめえだねえ親父もうこいつやっちまっていいっすかこいつの面見てるだけで俺らはもうおう片木の皆さんに迷惑かけねえようにな店の外でやれほらここで錦山と飲んだら美人のママも一緒にねママああ来いやキリュウすぐに戻るおい<笑>そんじゃこっちをこっちで楽しくやろうや。ねえ、錦山。<笑>ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。俺はよ、お前が正気とは思えねえんだ。組み抜けたその足で、フルスにしょんべん引っ掛けやがって。おかげでうちは一千万からのしのぎがパーだ。死に急ぐのは勝手だがよ。もっと周りに迷惑かけねえようにしねえとな。何つったってんだ土下座しろや土下座てめえたちは分かってんのかバイラーなんか勘違いしてるらしいなあんたらにわび入れる気はねえよおとなしく殴られてやる理由もねえやる気なのかそうかよ<笑>面白いなお前おれやってみろ<笑>早くやれやその代わりここが最後の一戦だすぐそこに阿波野の親父がわざわざ出張ってきてるそいつを承知でやるってんならその度胸だけは褒めてやるよ俺の仲間が血流してる<笑>錦山とそれに立花不動産のお前のそれが<笑>あいつはほんの少し可愛がっただけですぐてめえのいいところ入ったよ<笑>てめえ何が最後の一戦だてめえらとっくにそれ超えてんだ。
消えるてめえ<笑>やるもんだクズの兄貴も手焼くわけだな組抜けてからの方がよっぽどヤクサじゃねえか<笑>面白いもんだな次はあんたか<笑>やってみろよ切れよおめえなんで立場の不動産にやる何分かってるぜ風間の頭に指示されてんだろ俺がわざわざこんな山で出張ってきたなおめえが立場の不動産と絡んでろって聞いたからだ頭の息がかかったおめえがな俺はよ風間の頭が立場の不動産を使って空の一つを追ってると踏んでるんだけどなどうだ俺の言ってること間違ってるかどう思うかあんたの勝手だ<笑>もうねごまかすの下手だなでも俺はおめえのそういうとこ気に入ってんだもう立場の不動産もう空の一粒の持ち主を見つけたのかそうかまだかどれでも手がかりこれはつかんだらず俺は何も言ってねえぞねえいいおめえの目を見るなんだかんだおめえは分かりやすくてほんといいや勝手にやってるなあキリュウよ俺に立花不動産の社長と合わせろ。やつはうまいこと隠れ回ってるようだな。あおにはおめえに仲立ちしてもらうのは手っ取るばい。俺はもう道島組を抜けてる。あんたに指図されるギリはね。やってくれりゃ。戦友屋の件は水に流してやる。おめえ、風間が。空の一つに手を出そうとしたこともなそれともこのまま的にかけられていいか道島組参加の全組織からだ部署に逃げ込んだとしても無駄だぜ死ぬまで追い込むそれも楽に死ねると思うやってみろ<笑>ちゃんと頭使って聞いてるかやこれはおめえだけの話じゃねえその次へおめえの兄弟も始末する錦山のことだこのままじゃあいつはおめえのとばっちりだ助けてやれよあんた立花に会ってどうする気だ空の人ぞの情報を洗いざらい吐き出させるだけだその後部外者にはご退場願うつまり殺すってことか朝まで考える時間がある立花渡すかおめえが死ぬかどっちか選んで今夜中に連絡しろや返事がねえときは、狩りを始めろ。エムラは当然、お前の首で。Okay, let's just continue for now. Yes, let's start at least the Yakuza way.
小田さんママもういいよ迷惑かけた小田さんキリュウすまねえ兄弟俺はまるでお前の力になってやれなかったいやそれはこっちのセリフだ結局お前のことまで巻き込んじまった悪い<笑>おいお前これからどうする気ださっきの青野ってやつにうちの社長を渡せって言われたんだろうさっきおめえが下で暴れてる間阿波野の兄貴がそう言ってたんだこれから堂島組が組を挙げて立花の社長を探すことになるってなああ俺からもお前を説得しろって言われて立花を渡すことがお前が死なずに済む唯一の道だとよう社長は今お前の濡れ衣を晴らすために町中の情報を集めてんだその社長の首を堂島組に差し出すのかあんた黙ってろなんだと断りゃ立花の代わりに気流がまとにされる組織ぐるみで終われりゃいくらなんでも生き残れねえだったらうちの社長が殺されることは構わねえのかてめえらが霧を巻き込んだんだろうがよせ相手は怪我人だ錦それにいずれ堂島組を敵に回すのは俺も承知の上だった思っているそのタイミングが早かっただけだ島組相手に正面切って喧嘩売るつもりかバカ言ってんじゃねえまさか親さんだってここまでひどくなるとは思ってなかったはずだそれは確かにそうかもしれないもともと立花社長は堂島組と正面から勝ち合う前に例の殻の一つをかっさらうつもりでいた堂島組にとってあの土地は10億じゃ効かねえ価値があるんだそれをうまく使えばうちもカムロ町の一角を担う組織になれる同時も組でさえやすやすとは潰せない組織にただこうまで早く同時も組の幹部に目つけられちまうとはな阿波野の兄貴を甘く見すぎだあの人クセなんかと比べ物にならねえよキレモンだとにかく社長と話してみるママ電話貸してくれママ全員が助かる道だってあるはずだうちが空の一つもの所有者を抑えるや堂島組と取引できる余地もあるだといいがよ社長小田です今は桐生とセルナって店にいますええそれで堂島組の青野が社長を渡せと桐生に持ちかけてきましたはいうちが空の一つを追っていることにも気づいてますだから社長は今すぐ身を隠してください俺はもう桐生は信用できないと思います社長を堂島組に売るかもしれない What? だおいちょっと待ていいんだ、錦。でもよ。<笑>これでも俺にも社長がどこにいるかはわからない。くそ。悪く思うなよ。騒がせたな、ママ。怖い思いをさせてすまなかった。うちの心配なんてそれよりこれからどうするのおい待て桐生
おめえどうする気なんだよ今さらジタバタしても始まんねえもともと組をのげた時は一人でやるつもりだったまずはクゼを捕まえて俺の濡れ衣を晴らす振り出しに戻ったなバカ野郎この状況でそんなことできるわけねえだろうそれでも俺はやるしかねえんだオッケー、バックトクリアリングマイネーム。Come to think of it, I still haven't been back to the empty lot a proper once over. The cops may have cleared out by now, but it could be worth going to take a look. But yeah, they were right though. This is the empty lot, right? Oh, we have a lot of quests here. Oh, another one here as well? Okay. Uh, this one, right? That is the empty lot. That small, small empty lot. If someone has ownership of that, You cannot build anything here around here because there's gonna be st uh, still this one spot, right? So it's gonna be pretty expensive. So let's go, let's go check it out. Okay, we're here in the empty lot. The small, small empty lot. Source of a lot of problems. Why did he look like a ghost there? Nande Kokoni Kesas <laughs> Gashirabet Skushta game by this. Mo Shinhani meets Nagario and Shokoa. No good team, as in you. Wakate Uchino Joe Homo, Scate, Kuzeo Araimashta. Moshi Kuzega Anata of Hameta Kuromaka de Areva. ここでの殺しのために殺し屋を雇ったはずですですがクゼの周りにそういう動きはありませんでしたどういうことだつまりあなたに殺しの濡れ衣を着せた黒幕はおそらくクゼじゃありません他にいます何今私が掴んでいる情報はここまでですそれをあなたにお伝えしようと思いましてねそのためだけにあんたはここにええですがご心配なく私はカムロ町から姿を消しはしません当時マグミがうちの動きに気づくまでもう少し時間がかかると思っていましたがそれでも想定の範囲内ですその割に小田は淡くってたかな小田さんにもまだ伝えてないことですが実はこの殻の一つの所有者を見つけましたえ訳あってまだ接触はできていませんですがその人物を内側さえ殻の一つを手に入れれば堂島組は我々の土地を売ってほしいと頭を下げることになるこの土地の価値はそれだけの力を生むんですですから桐生さんあなたにはそれまでの間死なずにいていただきます無理な相談でしょうか殻の一粒の持ち主はいつ抑えられるんだ一日くださいただし多言無用ですたとえ相手が錦山さんや柏木さんであってもあんたを今阿波野に売り渡せば俺は堂島組に狙われずに済むんだがなあなたがそういう人なら私はこんなところにのこのこ顔を出したりしませんよ明日連絡しますどうかそれまで堂島組から生き延びてください
キリさん All I can do now is wait for the word from Tachibana. I better head home and lie down or lie low there. Okay. Let's go. What? Okay, what is this then? Whoa there, buddy. Not so fast. Are you planning to just waltz past without a word? You want true here. You gotta pay the toll. Hmm. A shakedown. I feel bad for the guy, but I can't really afford to get involved right now. Oi. You mute or something, Blondie? If you don't want to get hurt, let's see some cash already. <laughs> if you insist, just be sure to pick it all up, okay? What is he? Is he very rich? Huzzah. Nani? It's money. He's making it rain. Eh? Right on. I've never seen so much dough in one place. Huh? I had my hand on that one first. Keep your grubby mitts off my dough. Huh? Shut up. And move your freaking leg. <laughs> my, my. Peasants truly are a sordid lot. This dude. Uh. Uh... And did you want some of my money as well, sir? Who is this, by the way? Is it, it, honestly, it looks like uh, an actor. Actual actor, I mean. Yeah. No. Then I shall be on my merry way. Till next time. Cheers. Oi. Wait, do you always throw wads of cash just to clear the road like that? But of course, why? At the point you cough up the money, it's so different from getting mugged. <laughs> I suppose commoners uh, just can't understand. Uh -huh. Excuse me? You see, when you're not just wealthy but obscenely rich, physical capital is like dust. It just accumulates. Get in the way? Really? That was a loose change. I won't miss it. Cool. On the other hand, having my precious time wasted by base ruffians like them is a serious loss. If I can buy the time back with coin, why? I'll pay as much as it takes. Buying time, literally. Precisely so. So why not give it a try if you're curious? Yeah. Um, give what a try. Let fly with a great whopping wad of wealth. Yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't. I'm just not in the big of a rush, honestly. Mm -hmm. Truly, have you never been out on a stroll and felt like the other pedestrians were in your way? Not ever? Well, sure, I guess a few times. <laughs> you see? Then give it a try now. I'm sure you'll feel the thrill of sending those human hurdles scattering. Hmm. Uh, Sure, but I don't have that much cash on, to, to, on me to burn on a whim. Not to worry. I will be your financier this one time. As a special gift, uh, you need to focus only on enjoying the rush of flinging cash confetti. Okay, deal. If you're really going to pay for it, I'd give it a go. Okay, let's try it then. How do we do it? Press X while walking around the city. Try using it to attract the woman behind you. Wait, it works in women too? Okay. So what is the reward for this though? Oh, they're having fun. Uh -huh. And what? Yes. Okay. Then we can okay. run past them now. Okay. So what is the point of doing it on the girls though? Okay. Mm. Oh, truly magnificent money blasting. For a moment, I completely forgot you were merely another plebeian. He insulted me as well. Mm. Is that what being rich is like? Honestly, I can't say it feels very good to waste it like that. True though, true. Perhaps, but aren't there times when you're far too hurried to be embroiled in petty squabbles of the underclass? Um, that's not... Okay. Yeah. Right? Mm. Really, whoever said time is money is an utter buffoon. Time is the far more precious resource. It's a finite. Hmm. Fair enough. I can see a weird, uh, weird sort of logic to that. 
then I've made my case. Take my advice. If you're ever in a danger of being dragged into a meaningless fight, just let loose with the heaping helping of legal tender. So you're clearly loaded, but how do you earn all that cash? Uh, I think you've caught a case of money fever. Hmm? Maybe. I'm just thinking it'd be convenient if there was a quick way to make some extra money. Common sense tells me that's a crazy wish for, but I might as well just ask. Oh, but there is. Seriously? The very epitome of high risk, high return. It's been my golden goose, and now I dine a diamond of foie gras. It being? Mm. Head to Theater Square. If you're truly a man of means, you'll find your way from there. What am I looking for? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. A paradise exclusively reserved for the upper echelons of wealth and taste. Though naturally that isn't my only source of income, I have quite the diverse portfolio. I, or should I say, we put most of our capital to work in a certain system that gives rise to considerable profits. If you wish to hear more about that as well, drop by Vincent. You'll find me there most of the time, okay. Vincent, got it. Okay, this has been a most stimulating use of my time. Ta-da! Okay, I guess we'll go to Theater Square to check this out. What this guy was talking about, right? The Chibana may have a new intel tomorrow, but that doesn't mean everything will be over then. I should tuck away as much cash as I can now, so I'm ready for whatever comes. He said I'd find a way to make big money in Theater Square. So let's go to Theater Square. Okay, we're here. Is this it? Okay, that rich guy said I should go to Theater Square if I want to make big money. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting all day for this. Excuse me, my good man. <laughs> hmm, right this way, sir. Okay. Beyond the door. Okay, let's go. Enjoy your stay. Where does the door go? Hmm, what is this door? There's definitely something behind it. Sorry, pal. That's not open to you. I saw you let a guy in. What's in there? Hey, do you think I'd come right out and say it? Well, let's just say it's a paradise for men. A place where dreams come true. Ooh. A place where dream comes true. Yes, a real-life wonderland. Got your interest up? It does make me curious, though. What do I have to do to get in? I'm the decider, actually. I say who comes in. You want in, you gotta win my approval. Hmm? Alright, so... What, are, what, what do I do to need... Or what do I do... Or need to do to impress you, sir? This place is a paradise for the wealthy. If you don't have the bread, you can't afford the dessert. I have to see that you've got enough cash to make a splash. Not only that, I want to see you've got the balls to do it with style. You prove that to me, I'll let you in. Use your noggin and figure it out. Hmm, a paradise for the wealthy. This definitely is the place that crazy rich guy was talking about. So I have to show this guy I have money to burn and the willingness to burn it. Okay, let's just do it then. Can we? There you go. What do you think you're doing? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Just showing you that I've got cash to burn. Wow, I never thought I'd see a guy literally toss money onto the pavement. You got a screw loose? No, I'm just rich. Hmm, I like the cut of your jib, though. You can come in. Right this way. Oh, Japan Catfight Club. Catfight? Didn't Daigo mention this? The, the, the kid we saw in the sub-story, right? What is this place? It's the official arena of the JCC. Japan Catfight Club. Sexy little vixens scrap it in an arena filled with beauty and ugliness and men bet big wages on the winner. That's what this place is all about. A feast for the eyes and exciting chances to double the fun by making money. Laying bets, a pleasure palace for men, I call it. And that's what it is. 
Not exactly subtle, not entirely refined, but who cares? Not me. Oh. Take okay here, take this. It's yours. Ten thousand yen. You gave it back to me. What is this? The cash that you burned. It was a real joy to watch it floating around, so I scoop it all back for you. Okay, thank you, I guess. Use it to have fun in here, pal. Okay, thank you, sir. You gave me my money back. Cat fights. I never expected to find that going on in Kamrucho. What a gaudy place. But I bet I can make money here. Even with the risk, it's worth a shot. Let's try it then. I want to try. I want to bet. Can we bet a billion yen? Beyond the door. Let's try it out. Yes. Let me see. Okay, let me go. Let me go. I want to I want to try it out, sir. There's a big guy now. There's a bouncer there. The guy's probably like 65. Oh, I can choose a fighter. Yukiko. There's measurements as well. Whoa. This one is very strong though. Jennifer, an English Me teacher. Yeah, damn. Comeback. Vitality Momoko. Pop Idol. Okay, buy ticket. I'll bet 99. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready for cat fights? Okay, let's go. Are we gonna play this or is just watch? Ready? A rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I lost. Jennifer Chan, you gotta win. Okay, she might use another one of these. Oh, I lost again. God damn. She just keeps using a uh, paper and rock. Jesus, did I lost? My bag. Oh, I lost again. My money. Disadvantage, though. Dude, oh my god. No, oh, German suplex. Oh. oh my god. Jennifer, no. We need to come back. Okay, 
We lost. We lost. Oh. Oh. Jennifer, she lost. Stop calling her Baba. Dude. Dude, look at the times when you win with her. Oh my god. We lost a lot of money though. Jennifer. Okay. Let's check the guy in... Uh, what do you call this? In Vincent, right? Let's go there. It's fun. This one is pretty fun. The animations, though, it's... The animations are the same, right? In pretty much everything. Unless they're going for the kill. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same. So maybe we'll do that more in the future. If there's sub story to so that, we will do it. So let's go to Vincent and let's check the other guy out first. Okay, we're here at Vincent. Let's go. Okay, where is he? There he is. <laughs> Komarucho's Mr. Moneybags. It's you again. Mm -hmm. I didn't catch your name during our little money scattering encounter before. It's Kiryu. You always hang around this place? Yes, when I'm in Japan. I travel the world a lot, so I don't get to spend much time here. Don't you ever go home? I'll go home soon. On my next trip overseas. You live in another country? I guess when you're rich, that's an option. True. No, no, no. I live in a jumbo jet. What? Nani? A jumbo jet. Well, think of it like a mobile home. When you're a global businessman, you spend more time in the air than anywhere else. I have several private jets and I switch between them depending on my mood. They're hangered at the different airports around the world. Hangar space is a premium with the soaring <laughs> land prices these days, so it causes me an arm and a leg. Mm. Anyway, I guess you could say this place serves as my office. While I'm in Japan, welcome to the investment fund, Kiryu-kun. Investment fund? You wanted to know how I earned my wealth, didn't you? Uh. Yes, business may be booming right now, but there can't be too many people earning more money than they know what to do with it. So you must have a few tricks up your sleeve. Well, this is how it's done. I just sit here enjoying a drink and wait for the phone to ring and that's it. Sorry, I don't follow. Can you tell me a little more? Mm. Sure, but it might take a while to explain. You might... Are you want me to go on? Yes. Please, feel me in on the details. <laughs> okay, but let me warn you. This could get long. Feel free to zone out if you want to. It won't get you into trouble later. First, the investment fund raises capital from customers who have extra savings stashed away. Then, we invest this money into people engaged in business that we feel shows promise and return a portion of the profits we gain to our investors. In other words, we just juggle money around. The people we lend it to do all the real work. So, we're basically a money lender. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Money lenders profit through the interest they charge, but we make our money by investing in all manner of things. We put our money into whatever gets us a return, from listed stocks to startup companies, movie productions, even horse racing. You can call that investing if you want. But it sounds a lot like gambling to me. But we bet to win, my boy. Although we use other people's money, a failed investment gains us nothing. So we don't just throw cash into any old venture. We do our best to ensure we lend money only to businesses with a solid potential for a return. You make it sound easy, though. Well, finding the right people to invest in is no simple task. But they're out there if you know where to look. In fact, I've found one right here. Here? Yes, you, Kiryu-kun. I hear you started up a respectable business up your own in Kamarucho recently. Whoa, you really have an ear to the ground, huh? How's it going then? Any problems with the cash flow? Hard to say. To be honest, I could be doing well or headed for rocky waters and I wouldn't know either way. That's only to be expected. So, Kiryu-kun, you have two choices laid before you. Choices? You could boost your finances by contributing money to our fund or by accepting an investment from us. The choice is yours. Hmm, I understand why you want me to invest, but you're also offering to put money into my business? 
Of course. Although the money wouldn't actually be ours, it would be from someone contributing to the fund. And who would that be? We've adopted a rather unique system for our investment fund. We call it Mutual Mutual Investment Trust. Put simply, whether investing or being invested in, the funds are exchanged between predetermined parties. For example, let's say you contribute to a fund and we invested that money into the business of Emson and Sotin Bori. If Emson, Emson, Majima son, then use that money in successful business venture, a percentage of the profit could come back to the fund. That's pretty standard. Makes sense. The difference is in what happens next. If Emson then contributed to the fund, your business would be given priority for its investment. Okay. So when I put money in, it only goes to this Emson, and when I take cash injection, it's always from him too. That's right, you catch on quickly. Uh, then why do we need to go through the fund? Yeah. Well, wouldn't it be quicker for Emson and me to just exchange money directly? <laughs> oh, come on. Come now, Kirikan. How on earth would you find someone you couldn't trust with that kind of money? So basically, they're the middleman. Our fund has all the connections to ensure that the investments only go to trustworthy parties. That means you can contribute without a fear of putting your money at risk. Mm. Uh, you have a point there, then. I have to admit, I know next to nothing about investing. You're far better off using our fund to send money to Emson. Okay, I got the picture. So, uh, who would Emson be in my case? Mm. Well, we have a few candidates all over Japan. I'm the face of the fund here in Kamarucho, and we also have a representative in Osaka. Soten Bore. Yes. Someone running a cabaret club. Okay, I guess in Majima, we're gonna be running something as well. Yes. Okay. 10 million. Nani? I lost a lot of money earlier. You want? You sure you want to give me all this? <laughs> Use the money to make your business thrive. And if you make a profit, invest any extra cash you have with us. Like I said in the beginning, we just juggle money. Our business relies on people using the fund. Understood. Thank you, Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> invest. Nani? Okay, I can only invest a set amount. 10 million. Yeah. 10 million yen, okay. He gave me 10 million, now I'm returning it to him. Okay. <laughs> I gave him money and he just returned it to him for investment. Okay, so yes, we will end our episode there for today. So we continued the main story earlier. We saw Riki Takeuchi, I mean Awano, right? Kiryu tries to get out, but again, he's inside the game again, right? He cannot run, I mean. And then we see this cat fights and stuff. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It's just this, the animations are pretty, or yeah, pretty much the same. And it's kind of RNG, right? Yes. So next episode, I think maybe maybe we can continue the 5 billionaires. Let us see. And we still have some uh, new sub story, so we could continue that. So yes, we're going to continue this and do more Yakuza 0 in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.